Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. In today's stream, I'm going to be continuing on with uh, painting the uh, these Alien vs Predator minis, more specifically the the aliens. Here's where we got to uh, with them. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. As of yesterday. In today's stream, oh. I'm going to be continuing oh, on with uh, that. painting the. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so this is where we got to yesterday. We got three, three of them done the basic colors. I haven't done any details on them yet, but we'll, uh, we'll work on this guy next, get him to the same stage, and then we'll see if we can maybe work on some of the details. Starting off with some Abaddon Black. Actually, this is a new one. I must have another one here that's already open. Maybe it's not a new one. Never mind. Lady Brinstar, how's it going? Hello, hello, welcome to the stream. We're painting aliens. Cookies, nice. What kind of cookies? Yeah, nids are cool, man. There is a there is a box set on the GW site I was looking at the other day. Um, I think it's about 200 bucks Canadian or something. It's a Tyranid, um, I think it's a swarm or something they call it. And uh, I was seriously considering picking up, picking that up to paint some nids. That's pretty much the only, or one of the only armies that I don't have any minis from in the GW range
and they look like um, I mean there's a ton of them to paint but they look like they would be kind of fun to paint my only concern is the sheer number of minis you gotta paint like uh, kind of like orcs there's just so many of them I had to take a break from painting my orcs But after painting these alien dudes, I'm kind of seriously considering getting some lids. Chocolate chip cookies, nice. Chocolate chip cookies are good. Yeah, I was wondering, I don't know if you do any airbrushing. I was thinking about, I haven't done any airbrushing. I have an airbrush, I have paints and stuff like that, but I haven't done any airbrushing yet. Um, and I was thinking like maybe if I get those nids I would uh, learn how to do some airbrushing because I was looking at like uh, even with uh, orcs you can you can think like oh well I can kind of speed up the process of painting orcs by airbrushing but really if you look at them there's really not that much like here's an orc like they have a lot of different colors right because they have the skin is green so, I mean, what would I airbrush? Just the skin? So, it doesn't really... I don't see that it would save me that much time. In terms of... Uh, but with Tyranids, I think you can do a little bit more damage with... Um, with an airbrush, because you can do... Um, you're painting the entire creature, right? Like, you can kind of just do a couple of fades or a couple of different colors. But, I don't know. I don't know much about airbrushing yet. Besides just watching Next Level Painting and a few other people, some videos on YouTube. But I was thinking that might be a cool way to learn a little bit about airbrushing. So what's on your tabletop now? Like what are you working on for your nids army? So you can dry this off a little bit quicker.
So far, this is what I've used my airbrush for. Drying off uh, models in between painting. H. Melrose, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Alright, I think that's pretty dry. Dan3223, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. So I'm going to do a bit of dry brushing with Flayed One Flesh. Maybe I'll check out some uh, YouTube videos on... Um, see if anyone's done any videos on airbrushing, Tyranids. Get some ideas. This isn't this isn't a very dry dry brushing. It's actually quite a bit of paint on this and it's pretty wet. But this is what I did last night and it turned out pretty well, so Johnny boy, predator all the way. Eh? Check out this guy. Looks like he's gonna be fun to paint. Although I have no idea how to paint him yet, what colors and stuff. Yeah, this one's this guy's pretty cool too. This one's got the disc. That little Oh, it's not focusing properly. Come on, focus. 
Come on, camera, focus. Doesn't want to focus. There we go. It's got that that disc, and you can even see the his fingertips right there sticking out. So he's actually got his fingers into into the disc, and then those little blades come flying out, and then he chucks it, goes flying, kills some predators or humans depending who they're hunting that day. Since I started building these and uh, painting, I've been um, I've been really wanting to go watch the movies again because I haven't seen them for years and years. What type of paints? I mostly use um, GW paint or sorry Citadel from Games Workshop. I also have some uh, Minotaur. These uh, ghost tints is what I used on uh, on these guys to kind of bring out these purples and blues. Oh, I don't have my little light on. That's why it's so dark. There we go. To kind of bring out that blue, purple, shiny, slimy colors. That's what I'll be doing to this guy soon. Just doing some airbrushing first and then I'll do um, do some of the ghost tints. I kind of stumbled onto it by almost by accident last night. I tried a few different ways of painting these and wasn't really liking. Wasn't really liking it. Then I kind of did this dry brushing effect and it started to look like what I wanted to look like. And then we tried doing a a shade, this blue shade, but it didn't really look that good. And then I remembered I had these uh, ghost tints. <clears throat> tried the ghost tints and I really like the effect that it uh, produced. And I've said this a few times on the previous last couple of streams as I've been building these uh, minis from Protoss Games I really like the resin that they use for these it's very flexible it doesn't have um, it's not brittle like some of the resins out there you can see like this tail it's almost like it's almost rubbery in a way so it won't snap off like some resins you know you just even like that much flex and it would just break right off I'm not sure what the difference is between the different types of resin, but whatever Protoss is using, it uh, I really like it. It works really well. This is like a super simple paint job too. I think it looks pretty good. I just realized that there's a little piece here I gotta cut off. That's not supposed to be there. I'll 
just throw a little dab of black on that. Dry that off real quick. All right, man, thanks for popping by. By the way, before you take off, um, I just posted uh, a new giveaway today. Um, below the video, in the uh, in the descriptions below, you'll see a little graphic there. I'm running a contest giving away um, your choice of either uh, Infinity, a Malifaux, or a Wrath of Kings starter set. If you have any interest in that, uh, just click on the link. It'll take you to a giveaway page. You can uh, you can there's like 12 different ways to enter the contest. I'll be doing that uh, giveaway on December 11th. But either way, thanks for popping by. Yeah, thanks man. I like it too. It's the first time playing with these ghost tints, so I like the results that they produced.
Hey, Leonis, how's it going, buddy? You got purple, blue, plasma, magenta, green last night after your stream. For these ones? For the uh, uh, ghost tents, you mean? If so, that's a wicked price. That's awesome, man. That's a great price. So what I am thinking... I was thinking is to do try out red and yellow on this one instead of the blue and the greens I already know what they look like so this way I can have almost like one of the aliens is is like the alpha let's try it out let's try it out see what it looks like Do the yellow first. Curious what that's going to look like. pretty interesting. Mostly red, but I just want to have the yellow as a starting point. Ooh, nice. Pick those up. look pretty sweet
<laughs> yeah, I have boxes and boxes of minis behind me that... <laughs> like some of the knights and stuff like that, that... I'm waiting for my skills to improve to work on them. So remember yesterday we were wondering if these, um, hey, Fur Rocher. Remember we were wondering if the, if they were going to stay shiny after they dried off? Well, they stayed shiny, so I'm really excited about that. Don't have to glaze them or anything. They're like super shiny. So these uh, ghost tints, in case you're wondering, these ghost tints, um, um, they do, <clears throat> they do um, dry with a sheen on them. Shiny ghost tints. I'm on awfully late. Yeah, it's pretty late here. 1:30 a.m. my time. Wanted to get some of these, uh, well, at least get this guy, this alien done. Yeah, it did, like that, that gemstone. It really, uh, worked out really well. Glad I did that. And it kind of gives it that that shiny look. Does give it more of almost like a like that alien slimy, like it's wet look to it. January Vision, thank you for the host. Welcome to the stream. We're painting aliens. Flickster, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. Guys, if you're just tuning in, um, if you look below the video, I just posted a new contest today. I'm doing a giveaway on December 11th. I'm giving away, uh, well, your choice of either uh, an Infinity starter set or a Malifaux two-player starter set or a couple of uh, Wrath of Kings uh, starter sets. Um, there's a little banner below the video. If you click on that, hopefully it takes you to a new tab on your browser. Um, and there's like 12 different ways you can enter. You can get... 12 different ways you can get tickets <clears throat> free to enter of course painting death watch nice 
<laughs> your wife informed you had your lips were covered in gray paint. I had that with with these um, ghost tints yesterday when I was painting them. At one point, I was closing one of these lids and the and the paint just kind of like I felt it spray all over my face. So I'm gonna try red now. Doing a little bit of experimenting. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. It's pretty nasty looking, looks like he's covered in blood. Human blood. Or maybe predator blood. Can't remember if the predator's blood was red blood. Wasn't that in Predator where they um where they um, where they said if it bleeds we can kill it. Isn't that from Predator? I could be wrong. It's been so long since I've seen that movie. All right, Genuine Vision. Thanks for the host again. Thanks for popping by. Green blood. Green for predators, okay. Ah, if it, if it bleeds, we can track it. If we can track it, we can kill it. Awesome. Damn, now I really want to see that movie again. Classic Arnie.
Yeah, now he's doing what? Uh, mobile? What is it? That game? Mobile Strike or something? Who'd have thought that uh, cell phone games, mobile cell phone games, would be making so much money that they'd be hiring Arnie to do commercials for them? So what I'm thinking with this is to do that green to tie it all together with these ones. So we have the yellow and the green there. All right, Flickster, thanks for popping by. Have a good one. Hands off to get chicken. What do you guys think of the green? I think I'm going to add a little bit more on the tip here too. Now he looks like he's covered in human blood and predator blood. This guy's the alpha, the bloodiest of them all. I want to design some cool bases for these guys. Well, meaning laser cut. I don't know, I think I only have this one red color, but I do have this other Thing I was gonna try next. Just give me a second here, I'll grab it. Uh, where is it? This stuff, Nurgle's Rot. Never used it before. But I was wondering what it would look like. Let me... Let 
me grab something here. Grab an extra tail that came with the set, and we're gonna experiment a little bit with experiment with this Nurgle's rot thing. I'm not really sure how this stuff works. Is it just like a yellow? I think it just looks like a kind of a slimy yellow color. Greenish yellow. Okay. Let's see what that would look like. You know what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I'm gonna bring the bone color back in on a few details and then I'll add that Nurgle's Rot and see what that looks like. So let's try. Let's try bringing the um, pick up some details on my teeth here. it pop a little bit more hey ace paints how's it going these are actually from um, protos games my uh, f good friends at protos games in Poland <clears throat> I'm considering carrying these on my store here in Canada they um, they sent me some of these just to kind of review because I, uh, I wasn't sure I wasn't sure if I wanted to carry them in my store. didn't know about the quality of the miniatures, but since I've gotten them and started building and painting them, I've been really impressed. So I think pretty soon I'm going to start stocking these on my store. But if you're looking to... Uh, to buy them today I would uh, head on over to protosgames.com and uh, they have an online store the only thing is they're in Poland so um, I'm not sure how much shipping would be for you and how long it would take out some of the details on these fingernails at one point uh, my local gaming store had the alien vs predator game But last time I was there, they didn't have it. So you may want to check your local gaming store too. Maybe they have it. Thank you. 
Alright, so let's try this Nurgle's Rot stuff. Never used it before. No idea what it's gonna do or what it's gonna look like, but let's give it a shot here. Ooh, that might be a little bit too much. Looks like in this case, on this scale, it's just kind of tinting the teeth a yellowish color. But maybe if I do the upper part here kind of outline the outline the jaw with it maybe it'll kind of look a little bit more there we go now we're getting that slimy look sure if you guys can see that on the kind of just makes it look like there there's like green slime inside the mouth Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. We can go with that.
Hey, Robot Crash, how's it going? What you up to? Working on some aliens. Did four of them last night, and today I did another one. And I'm just doing a little bit of detail work on the teeth and claws and stuff like that. If you haven't already, check out the uh, the contest I'm doing uh, below the video stream. <clears throat> there is a um, a giveaway I'm doing for some starter sets for either Infinity or Malifaux or um, Wrath of Kings there's like 12 different ways you can enter the contest one of which is like by being a follower of by being a follower of my stream you get like 25 entries into the contest so all you really have to do is just click through and uh, click a couple buttons and it'll automatically give you those cool I'll take a look at that picture in a second here just want to get these details done So that's good for that. And this one. Leonis, it did not hurt you to do that? What do you mean it did not hurt you? Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty easy. That uh, that software I use for the giveaways, I love it. I searched for so long to find like an easy way to do giveaways, meaning not easy for me, like that's important too, but to make it easy for people to like enter the things, right? So many softwares that are so clunky, but this one is actually really easy, especially considering all the different like integrations they have with Twitch and. YouTube and Twitter, Instagram, like Facebook, they make it really easy to, uh, they make it really easy for the users to enter the contest and stuff like that, so. It's not a cheap software, but it is really really it's done really well so I really appreciate that they um, they simplified it as much as they possibly could for the users
Yeah, I use Revlo for um, specifically for Twitch um, giveaways. So like for people earning currency while they're on stream, like you guys are right now. And if I do an on-stream giveaway, then yeah, I'm definitely using Revlo. Um, but the other one, the other software I'm using for, because that one integrates my Facebook page and Twitter and all the different uh, social media platforms. So I'm using that one. Um, but the only thing that one doesn't do is doesn't do the whole currency thing. So. And I was using that other software before I ever started streaming on Twitch, so kind of got used to it. All right, let's do a little bit of this rot. And I've got a ton of it loaded up on the brush here, but hopefully I don't overdo it. Although for this guy, because he's already yellow, not as not as pronounced, but that's okay. I think that's it. That actually dried and it does actually look kind of like a slimy rot dripping from their teeth, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna try something here. What if I put a little bit of it here? too much but I can add a little bit Yeah, setting stuff up is kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Especially trying to get things to work together, talk to each other, like different systems.
Well, when I started these aliens, I had absolutely no idea how I'm going to paint them. I looked at some of the other paint jobs people have done, and a lot of them were basically just black. Kind of like in the movie, how they're all just like that shiny black. Slimy, wet, black color. Which is cool, but I wanted to... I don't know, I didn't just want to have black minis, because to me that just kind of looks like they're just primed and move a little glaze over top or something. So I wanted to experiment and figure out something different that looked kind of cool. And I'm really happy with this. I think it, uh, I think they turned out pretty neat. And the cool thing too is that it's not too hard to like, took a while to experiment and figure out what's going to look good, but now that I've got the formula, these are actually really easy to paint. Like it's really just a black, base it black, which is easy to do, then do a little bit of dry brushing with that flesh color, which is again easy to do. And then with the magic of these ghost tints, it brings out the details. Tints them in a pretty cool looking way. that one and this one So what I've been thinking is, I want to get some, uh, I want to make some bases for these, like little base inserts for the bottom, something to kind of make them look like they're in a ship or something along those lines. Kind of like these MDF laser cut MDF um, base insert thingies. Let's see if I have any here as an example. Kind of like this. Kind of like that. This one's more of like a cobblestone. But I'm thinking more like an industrial, maybe like a, like a great pattern with rivet holes or something. I have to look through my stuff because I might have some bases already done like that. Maybe I'll order some in. I'll have to see what I have. I'm gonna go through my stuff. But I think that would look pretty cool on these. So there we have it. There's the five aliens. And I kind of see it as them being like a little swarm. And this one being the alpha.
I might do a little bit more details on them if I look around and see what other people have done and maybe find some cool ideas. But I think even as they are right now, I think they look great. Just need something on the base because the base looks too plain and crappy. I want to have something. So next I gotta figure out how I'm gonna paint these guys. These predator dudes. These might be a little bit more challenging. Definitely, definitely like these minis though. And then there's the commandos, the human ones. Pretty sweet looking minis. Oh, nice. Yeah, I have one other, I have one other box I bought from them a while back. No idea where I put it, but it's a different, um, it's almost like, I forgot what they're called, but it's from the Aliens movie where there's like a, it's almost like a dude sitting almost kind of like in a mech warrior type suit, like a mechanical suit that he walks around in or something, like an augmented uh, arm movement type of thing. Yeah, I gotta get my hands on the actual game. Because these are basically, like what Proto sent me, I asked him to send me some examples, some samples. So what they did is they sent me these expansion kits, which is basically just like five extra models to expand the game. But I don't have the game yet, so um, can't really play it. Fire... Fire-la? Fire-arla? Not sure how to pronounce that. Welcome to the stream. Yep, we're painting miniatures here. This is the Predators. So the Predators was like three models. Again, so this is like an expansion kit. But I gotta... I gotta find the... Um... I mean, if I decide to carry these on my store, then I'll, I'll order them in. I'll order the games in. But um, in the meantime, since that's going to take a while to ship from uh, from Poland or even my, even from the U.S. if I order from a supplier, um, I want to see if I can maybe find a local store close to my place that has the actual game so I can pick it up. And I think the game comes with... If I'm not mistaken, I think it comes with pretty much what you're looking at here, which is I think it comes with about at least five aliens, at least three predators, at least I think five of these commandos, and then maybe some other, maybe some face huggers or some eggs or something. Not 100% sure, but. I'll look into it. And I still have the um, Warzone Resurrection models. This is the other game that uh, Protos produced as well. So um, they sent me like a minis for two different factions and a little small mini rule book. Kind of a starter set, demo set. And um, they sent me two of them actually. So one I, I built, I'm gonna be painting on stream. Here's another model from that. And then I'm gonna be doing a giveaway where I'm gonna be giving away one set, um, a brand new set to uh, to somebody on stream. That'll be happening within the next week or so, before the end of the month. And if you follow the stream and tune in, 
you're earning uh, creds, which is my online stream currency. And when I do the giveaway, I'm gonna be, you'll be able to redeem creds for raffle tickets in the uh, in the giveaway. So I actually have two giveaways going on right now. One is gonna be over the next week, sometime on a stream where I can get about at least 25 people on. I'll do the giveaway for the uh, the two-player Warzone Resurrection set. Um, that'll be before the end of the month, so within the next week or so. And it could be as early as tomorrow or the next day. And then the uh, the other giveaway is the one that's uh, below the video, the one that I'm giving away the starter set for either Infinity or, or Malifaux or Wrath of Kings. And that one is going to be December... I'll be, I'll be drawing the winner on December 12th. <clears throat> So these are done, except for the base. Once I get the base done, once I figure out what I'm gonna do with the bases, I'll get these done up. I'll add a little bit more detail. I didn't wanna to work to, on too much detail on the legs and stuff because I know when I put the base, when I take them off and put the bases on, I'll have to do some touching up for sure. Maybe tomorrow I'll work on these predators. And then the commandos probably last. You're not too late to the party, what do you mean? You have just as high a chance of winning as anybody else. Like if you click on the link and you go and f uh, fill in all the different... I think there's something like 12 different ways you can enter. Like follow, you know, uh, subscribing to me on YouTube, following the, um, following me on my twi Twitch stream, following the other members of my tabletop gamer crew. I think you, I think it comes out to 63 entries, 63 tickets um, that you get if you fill out all of them, right? And um, between now and December 11th, when I do, when I draw the winner for that one, there's no. Um, you know, there's no advantage that anybody else has over any, anyone else if you fill out all those, if you get all those tickets. As far as the other giveaway for the Warzone Resurrection, um, yeah, people who are f tuning into my stream, they might have a few more um, uh, creds already saved up. But everyone who is on stream when I'm doing the giveaway, is there, I'm going to be giving away one free ticket, so you're going to get one raffle ticket for free. Um, and then people who have you know they have enough creds it'll be a thousand creds for um to get a second raffle ticket so they can kind of double their chances if they have enough creds for a, a second ticket but it's on my stream the way i do it is you earn five creds per minute watched so if i do you know for anywhere like let's say you do about a three hour stream which i'm doing about an hour and a half streams right now so if you watch two streams that's about a thousand creds so that gets you a raffle ticket. So if you tune in, you know, um, four streams, you get an extra two, you know, for every two streams you tune into, you get a raffle ticket basically, an extra one on top of that. So it's def there's definitely a lot of, you can still win. It's not super, super skewed to people who have a lot of uh, creds. And really, besides Leonis and maybe a few other people, there's really not that many people that have a ton of creds yet. Because I've only just now started uh, announcing giveaways. Start, I'm going to only now start doing giveaways. So not a lot of people have been um, earning a lot of creds yet. Now, to answer your question, um, as far as Infinity, Malifaux, and um, Wrath of Kings, as a, as a painter, let me think. So, I think Infinity has some of the nicest detailed minis out there. Um, on the plus side, I really like the details. They're, they're very much like similar to this. The scale is similar to this. There's a ton of little detail. So, if you're... You know, if you're a good painter, you can pick out all the details. Um, 
I think they look phenomenal. Um, the downside with Infinity for me personally, and I know for other people they don't care about that, they see it as a plus side, is that all the Infinity models are metal, right? So if you don't mind working with metal and maybe attaching some things and you know maybe pinning a few arms here and there, um, if you don't mind metal, because I know some people love metal and they like the fact that they're heavier, um, but if you don't mind working with metal, then Infinity is definitely uh, a really you know good choice. Um, Malifaux, again, they have really good minis. The downside with and they're plastic. They switched. They used to be metal. They switched all their stuff to plastic. And the two-player starter set that I'm giving away, it's all plastic. Um, Malifaux is pretty cool too. They're they're definitely a little bit. All their minis are kind of um, um, a bit sick and twisted and a little bit weird. Um, the downside with Malifaux minis, for me personally, I built a few and there's a lot of tiny details. And it's like, you know, like, like see how this model was like, basically the entire model is one piece and then the arms were a second piece and literally you just put the, you glue the arms in and you're done. With Malifaux, this model would be about like 12 pieces. I'm not even kidding. They break it down to like each arm is separate, the torso. And it's not like it's, it. I don't know. I don't really understand why they do it. It's not like a Space Marine where, you know, they break down all the pieces into separate pieces because they give you five different guns that you can choose and, you know, six different shoulder pads. It's not like there's, you know, 30 different variations and, and you can kind of build them. With Malifaux, they're all just broken up into pieces, but there's only really one way to build it. Um, but once you do assemble it, uh, if you don't lose any of the little pieces, Again, they're pretty detailed. Uh, Wrath of Kings, similar to this, uh, the resin models. Um, with Wrath of Kings, the benefit with that one is um, I think they have some of the most interesting models. Um, and Wrath of Kings, I think you're getting the most value in terms of models per box. Like the, uh, I think Technus box has something like. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think it's something like 25 or 30 models in one little starter set. Whereas in like Infinity, a starter set would be like five or six miniatures for, for a faction. So you're just getting a ton of models with uh, with Wrath of Kings. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, uh, no, sorry. I, I could be wrong. Um, Malifaux, I don't think it's uh, resin. I think did I say resin for Malifaux? It's I'm pretty sure it's plastic. I'm, I'm I think they're doing injection molding for Malifaux, which may be the reason why they need to make the pieces smaller, or may, maybe they need to break them down more. I don't know. That's probably what it is. Now that I think about it, because with resin you can kind of do a little bit more. Um. You can you can kind of have pieces that overlap maybe. Whereas with, with injection molding, it kind of has to be a two-piece mold. I don't know. Either way, I mean, I've sold Infinity stuff. I've sold Malifaux on my store. And um, I've never had anyone complain about Infinity um, in terms of the pieces being too small. But with Malifaux, I've had a few customers who were a little bit frustrated when putting it together. They love the miniatures. They love the look. And once they're built, it's like, okay... They're done but some of them it's just like ah tiny little pieces and you know goes flying across the room gets lost in the carpet that kind of thing yeah if you're okay with metal infinity is a good choice and this the set that I'm giving away with uh, infinity is the Ariadna set um, which is pretty cool. It's like, uh, it's like, um, <clears throat> Star Vargo. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. The, the infinity set, um, that one's not a two players. It's, it's one army. It's the Ariadna faction, but it comes with like, um, a whole bunch of minis. It comes with, uh, dice. It comes with some, uh, like cardboard printed terrain, a little map piece. Um, so basically 
you take that set, I know you're not into playing the game as much as painting, but if you took that set, um, you pretty much have everything to play the game except for a second army. Like, you know, if a friend of yours bought a little starter army for one of the other factions, then you guys could play together. Because you get the terrain, you get the rule book, like a quick start rule book. Um, you get some uh, missions and stuff like that. You get a little bit of terrain, play mat, um, and a bunch of minis, of course. And the, the minis are... Um, Ariadna is kind of like the, it's kind of like the U.S. Army faction of um, of Infinity, but it also has like uh, a bunch of uh, wolf dudes, kind of like almost like werewolves. <clears throat> so it's kind of neat. Think like werewolves in U.S. military gear with machine guns, that kind of thing. You can Google it and check it out. Um, I'm sure you can find pictures of what the minis look like. Tabletop Gamer Crew uh, Chris. Chris from our Tabletop Gamer Crew, he has that set. <clears throat> it's actually, I think, the first set, first miniature set he ever bought. So I've seen his, uh, I've seen the minis. He, he built up those uh, wolf dudes. They look pretty cool. Gorilla Ond. Gorilla O N D, or is it Ond? Not sure how to pronounce that. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the follow. of luck how many entries do you have does it tell you I think the maximum is like 63 or something or 62 I think on the page when you fill them all out it tells you at the top what the how, how many entries you got Eighty-two entries. Okay, so there's got to be more. Oh, really? The share has no link. I got to check into that. I wonder why that is. Thanks for letting me know. Of luck, hopefully, you win. All right, guys, I'm gonna pack it in for tonight. Thanks again for tuning in, hanging out, painting some uh, aliens. I'm gonna have a chat with, uh, or I'm at least gonna research and look into. Uh, how to get myself the uh, Aliens vs. Predator game itself. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube on it and it looked pretty cool. Looks like it would be fun to play. And now that I know how to paint the, the aliens, I have no problem. Like if I think the set might come with at least five, maybe ten, ten of these dudes. And um, with this paint scheme, I can I can get these painted up really fast. So. For the Predators, I don't know yet. Thanks, man. Glad you could pop by. Alright, I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you guys um, on the next stream, hopefully.
All right, take care, guys. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Paul here from TabletopGamer.com, and I'm excited to announce that we are now on Patreon. Now, if you're not familiar with Patreon and what it is, it's essentially a way for you to support the video content that you love on a monthly basis. It's similar to Kickstarter, where you pledge a certain amount, and then you receive certain rewards for those pledges, except with Patreon, you're pledging and receiving those rewards on a monthly basis. Now, the reason I'm launching this campaign on Patreon is because I want to accelerate our growth, which means I'll be able to produce more content and to produce more products and release them to the community at a much faster pace. Now, if you're watching this video on Patreon and you want to check out some of the rewards that you can qualify for uh, based on your pledges, just scroll down below. You'll see all the different pledge levels. You'll see the rewards that you can qualify for. And if you're not watching this video on, on Patreon, if you're anywhere else on YouTube or Facebook, wherever you're, you're seeing this video, simply click on the link below the video or the one that you see on the screen, which will take you to our Patreon page where you'll be able to check out all the different awards you can qualify for based on the different pledge levels. I want to thank you for checking out this video and thank you for your continued support.